Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang and we're here to discuss the mathematical roster method. Now, the important part about this particular method is with the roster method, they want, they want to see the roster. So basically, the method entails you listing all the various elements within the set notation. So when you see notation such as this, these are known as set braces. Now, if you see a description, you're asked to list the elements within these braces. Now, some sets are larger than others, so it might require a little use of the dots. So, here's an illustration. If you have, let's just say, the description of listing of vowels, then you would list the members of the roster. A, E, I, O, U. Now, if you're given, let's just say, the listing of even integers, talking about even whole numbers, you may have, for example, negative 4, negative 2, 0, 2, 4, etc., etc. But as you might imagine, the even integers extend beyond these particular numbers, so it may be necessary to include these set braces going forward. Now, sometimes if the description is not given, but if you list the elements within the set braces, such as 1, 3, 5, 7, dot, 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 then that tells the reader, okay, we have a set of odd, whole, positive odd whole numbers in this set. So, I'm Jimmy Chang, and that's a brief overview of the mathematical roster method.